Greetings, everyone. This is Rock and Roll Smack coming you with the Willie Combo Roundup. We've made it through this week's Marvel books. Now it's time to move on to this week's, this week's DC books. Kicking things off, we've got Nightwing number 108. Where we left off, Nightwing had reunited with uh, an old flame from his days as Rick Grayson. B, though it turns out that B was, in fact, the daughter of. Well, adopt, the adopted daughter of the quartermaster, who has been recently killed. Turns out, though, that his uh, that well, his son is not is not too pleased with the fact that B is uh, it has been named as his as uh, the quartermaster's successor. Nightwing, how when one of the uh, crew members is thrown overboard, Nightwing goes to uh, save them, but finds himself unable to jump for some reason. So the issue opens. One of the crew members uh, attempts to step to uh, stab Captain Blood Bee's uh, Bee in bed, though she's not there. Um, Dick chases him down, and uh, enhanced interrogation techniques are uh, thrown off the table by uh, by Dick. B ends up asking Dick why why he froze, and he doesn't know. But uh, they do, they do have a bit of an argument about uh, how Dick left things when he regained his memories. And um, they both, they're both kind of, they both agree that maybe they're both a little at fault. So it turns out they are heading to a uh, basically a secret pirate city, which has uh, replicas of uh, Ocean Master's helmet, Black Manta's helmet, and uh, even uh, Aquaman's old uh, harpoon hand. But they arrive at the Pirate City, which is actually, you know, looks to be a fairly nice city, and uh, basically the administrator, been uh, administrator of the city, comes to see, greet them, um, bowing to uh, B, though B is not fond of the bowing and has told her this multiple times. But um, Dick takes on the role of the captain's consort and, and roams the city alongside uh, one, of the, one of the other pirates who's, lo who's loyal to B. The Lucas, they uh, end up at a specific building and uh, are attacked by B's brother, who kills Lucas. <clears throat> but he intends to uh, he intends to use his opportunity to to take uh, well what Captain Blood left uh, B upon his death. But uh, Nightwing helps out with some gas pellets from his uh, Eskrima sticks. The pirates loyal to uh, B's brother uh, fight it out with uh, B and Dick. B ends up chasing at her brother and is stabbed. Or, well, run through, in fact. And uh, her brother B dumps, is dumped over in the ocean. 
That's where our A story ends. Our B story continues to be sort of the last few issues. Uh, someone's been following Dick. Um, sent a few, sent a group of thugs to uh, deal with him and Jason recently. But uh, Dick and Babs are at uh, at the movies, and um, Dick's got to go get off to head to the bathroom and get a refill on his coke. But um, the ma grand mastermind will be none other than Hatch Harlan or Hatch Marlin. A uh, member of the Gotham Underworld that ran a uh, getaway service for uh, other members of the Underworld. This was this was made back in Detective One Fifty Nine, so been a been a hot minute since he showed up. Dick tries to talk with Match, but uh, or with Hatch, but uh, Hatch doesn't be uh, much of a talking mood, and so. Dick ties up and, hang, and hang him from, hangs the body from, or hangs his un, the unconscious body from uh, some rafters and tries to get back in the movie theater, but, uh, well, yeah. Once the show started, you can't get back in. Babs meets him outside, and uh, Babs, Steph, Cass, and Dick and Jason uh, spend an evening ha hanging out watching movies. Jason's a little, little rankled about put about uh, you know just hanging out, but uh, Dick points out that not not every night is adventure, and sometimes that is enough. And that is where the issue ends. I think uh, either next soon, uh, now we'll be tying into the upcoming Beast World crossover with Titans, so we'll see how that. I don't know if it's be the next issue. I presume not, but we'll see. Soon, though. Moving on to our next book, we've got Batman Off World, number one. So, this is a Batman story set during. Which, what could be best be referred to as the Year Two era? Batman has begun, or Batman has become Batman. He is, you know, gone. He's gone head to head with. Uh, he's dealt tripling blows to uh, Gotham's criminal underworld, but of course, more new and more interesting uh, criminals are coming out of the woodwork. More theatrical ones, even. Anyways, the issue, the, the story op opens in uh, Space Sector 0909, the Slag Galaxy, which is largely ungoverned. A small ship is uh, taken in, but is picked up, uh, is salvaged. <clears throat> Salvage operators go to check it out. And are apparently roughed up by the one single life form aboard, Batman. War droids are sent down to deal with Batman, and then the captain himself deals with them when, well, Batman proves to be too much for the war droids. But uh, he gets a free hit on. He, basically, Batman gets one hit in on the captain. Guy didn't. Guy doesn't even flinch. Apparently, Captain Sin then hit Batman three times. Batman remembers two of them. But um, he quickly makes a friend with a uh, one of the other uh, prisoners aboard the ship. Uh, apparently, bet credits on him to. I'm dying, but uh, the uh, prisoner in question is a Tamaranian, 
And she's not fond of the fact that Batman just cost her ten credits. Especially to a kund. But, um... Batman, uh... Just going to do other things, uh... About what... About, uh... This... This group that he's, uh... Ended up a uh, prisoner of. As he's deemed not viable for, uh... Some of for what this what this crew usually does, he doing menial tasks until well, he dies. But there's information given about the about the ship, the war storm. It, it, the ship that uh, Batman is aboard is called the War Storm. Apparently, Batman paid. Uh, over half a billion dollars for the uh, for the ship that was used to get him aboard the war storm. Explained that uh, the war storm is surrounded by, by an artificially generated solar hurricane, keeping it uh, impenetrable and is inescapable. It travels the galaxy, uh, abducting any uh, able-bodied being it finds, forcing them to train as mercenary soldiers. In the slide galaxy, most re resources are reserved for the mining industry. That means weapons are precious while, while flesh is cheap. War stormers are trained to kill with their hands. They perfect their killing blows with the help of combat training robots. When those bots become too damaged to recycle, they're shoveled into the furnaces to feed the storm stacks. Because the captain has deemed Batman too puny for training, doing menial jobs, He's not expected to survive. So surviving becomes his training. One of the war bot one of the training bots uh, asks not to be uh, destroyed, so Batman keeps off to save him. Gets some uh, additional training from uh, and begins to train with with the uh, training bot. The Tamaranian question is Ionia of uh, Tamaran. A uh, storm chaser paid paid to hunt and uh, apprehend escaped recruits of the war storm. But uh, I only gives uh, Batman some uh, tips to survive, including you know if he's got someone special back home, think about them and you know focus on focus on uh, reuniting with them and. When he's asked if he has someone special at home, well, Gotham. Which apparently, while dealing with the various gangs, um, apparently one of them recruited a member of uh, Captain Sin's race. The fight between him and Batman did not go well. Batman gets trained from the uh, training droid, who is surprised to learn that uh, he actually can hit back. And so, Batman begins learning it, learning about extraterrestrial fighting techniques. And that is where the issue ends. So far, I'm digging this. Um, I'm liking Jason's Batman so far. You know, not to a good start, I'd say. I like that we're getting a, uh, a story actually showing Batman. It, it's been stated over the years that you know Batman is a master of all all uh, forms of all. Fighting forms on Earth, as well as multiple off-world uh, fighting techniques, it's generally it's generally been assumed that you know, oh well, there are alien members of the Justice League, so he learned from them. And while that is likely in, in at least the case in for some fighting styles, there are likely some that he did not learn from uh, Justice League teammates. And well, this will definitely t explain how he learned some of these uh, specific techniques. Moving on, though, to our next book, we've got Batman Superman World's Finest, number 21. Where we left off, Batman Superman World, Earth 21, or Earth 22, yeah, Earth 22, um, going after Boy Thunder. 
now called Thunderman on that Earth. Thunderman has attacked uh, Superman, though, knowing that it's a Superman he uh, dealt with as a child. Not entirely happy about that either. But, um... Both the Earth-22 versions of Clark Kent and Bruce Wayne hear about what's going on and go to and begin to look into investigating. The first Superman showing up after uh, Earth the Earth uh, Zero Superman gets uh, Thunderman away from or out of a, of a populated area. Earth-22 Superman shows up. The two of them duke it out. Thunderman uh, swears up and down that. Uh, It's not really Superman, it's, you know, it's something else. Then, there's 22, uh, Batman shows up. There's a fight between the two of them. Um, Superman, Superman gives chase to Superman with, uh, Earth, Pro, Earth Zero Superman hiding in a, cave, in a uh, mine. And bringing, it da bringing the mine around, down around Earth 22, Superman. Batman and Batman continue their, their their fight with Nightwing eventually showing up. But uh, Batman restrains Batman and, and Nightwing and tries to talk and get information. Mainly by also exchanging information. However, when he tries to tell uh, Batman the truth about uh, Thunderman, Thunderman shows up and swears that he, you know, he's lying, he's Batman and Superman manage, manage to uh, make an escape, hiding at the Kent farm. Which, as both Ma and Pa Kent are, de are dead on Earth-22. Well, but during, apparently during the fight with uh, Earth-22 Superman, the return device, the return device uh, was damaged. But, uh, back in Metropolis, Gog shows up to, uh, advise, uh, Thunderman. Superman sees this, asks, who, asks why who it is when the Justice Brigade, Justice League shows up, or maybe perhaps the Justice Brigade. Combination of the uh, of the classic uh, DC heroes from Kingdom Come and their uh, and the uh, or modern modernized uh, version as well. That's quite a neat looking shot. But that is where the issue ends. I like we're getting some uh, additional background information on uh, Earth-22. Um, I think a lot of people kind of just assume that uh, Earth-22's uh, past largely ran concurrent with uh, with the Earth-1, Earth New Earth, Earth-0, whatever you want to call it. So, the fact that it doesn't is an interesting twist, and uh, I'm glad that it's Mark Wade telling the story and not just someone saying, hey, what if I did this? Regardless, you know, regardless of what uh, perhaps the writer intended. Moving on, though, to our last book for the moment, we've got Harley Quinn, Black, White, and Redder, number five. Continuing the anthology series, so our first tale, The Harley Spirit. In a uh, it seems to be a medieval uh, town. An analog of the Joker and analogs of the Joker and Harley are walking through the city. The uh, the Joker is uh, complaining that no one laughed at his jokes. Though Harley points out that maybe uh, suggests that he changed the fish bit, which leads the Joker smacking her. An analog of Poison Ivy shows up and basically, you know, gives her something to, you know, heal, heal the cut or cut lip and uh, 
you know, ease, ease the pain and heal the cut quicker. But uh, Ivy suggests to Harley, you know, hey, you know, basically, with Harley being an abused woman, Ivy's trying to help her, and, you know, it's like, hey, you know, you'll find real, you know, come out to a specific tree, for the first of the month, apparently she does, and uh, there are others there too, and I, Ivy is a ritual, creating what a is best described as a, uh, a mo so uh, what is a champion of vengeance, which has which does have some uh, bear some similarity in appearance to Harley, more more along the lines of classic Harley, who then uh, gets vengeance on uh, the abused women who. Yes, the people of the town will likely think of them as witches and fear and fear them, but the women will not fear the men. Moving on to our next story, we've got Flight by Justin Halpern and Kath Lobo. Uh, Harley's on a uh, prison flight. It seems Zaz and Harley set up an escape, though it doesn't seem that Harley remembers what's going on. Harley's just being Harley on said flight, but uh, a smell hits her nose, and she wonders if someone farted. And even even Bane catches a whiff of it through his mask, and well, yeah. But um, also on the plane, we've got Deathstroke, we've got Starro, Kite Man, with his kite out, hell yeah, Croc, King Shark. Looks like Mad Hatter as well, but um, Harley gets free, Zaz gets free. Basically, pull up, they pull off their uh, their plan, and little by little, Harley's remembering like how she apparently killed a uh, security guard, one of the uh, guards, and hid the body in the, ba in the bathroom, and took the taser from the said guard. Also, leaving a uh, an explosive, or some explosives in a box, which uh, he Zaz was apparently unaware of this, and um, the plane is being redirected to Bloodhaven. But uh, Harley t tosses the bomb to uh, Zaz, and it explodes, and uh, Harley's just sent the plane down in Santa Fe, maybe. Though Bane asks if perhaps. Uh, it stop off in Columbus. He's got a cousin there. You know, not a cousin by blood, but Bane's mom and and his cousin's mom were very close, so they call each other cousins. And then Har the, the story ends with Harley asking if uh, if he thinks that uh, or if anyone knows if what one can survive a thirty thousand foot fall if you land on a bunch of dead bodies. Moving on to the last story for the issue, we've got Hashtag Double Trouble. Harley's at what appears to be a, uh, Harley's pulling a job at a, what seems to be a, uh, superhero cosplay, uh, convention. He gets mistaken for a Harley Quinn cosplayer. Then, uh, looking it up on, looking this up on Pixagram, turns out that there's, finally who this person is, and so Harley makes an account and Tries to steal some of uh, official Harley Q's thunder. Doesn't really work though. So eventually, Harley Harley dags uh, Ivy enough to get her to help. The cosplayers uh, take it prisoner. And they're gonna live stream it, and they do a live stream. The live stream ends with. Uh, Harley smacking the cosplayer in the head with her mallet. After a quick, after a fight with Batman, though, uh, Harley and Ivy are recovering. With uh, Ivy asking what uh, Harley learned about engaging with the internet, and Harley saying that uh, she can't believe they're the weirdos. And that is where the issue ends. These these have been a ton of fun. I'm looking. I, I do look forward to these each month, almost 
almost as much as uh, the Harley Quinn ongoing. But uh, anyways, that is going to do it for now. As always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Links to my Facebook, Twitter, Mastodon, Patreon, and PayPal can be found in the description box down below. This is Rock and Roll Spock signing off saying, live long and rock hard.